It was it was a tense affair. We knew we should win the game. Australia should win the game. You know, you look at the results. You know, New Zealand beat New England in the opening game, and we beat New Zealand reasonably well. So on form, you sort of think we've got the better team, and that actually adds a lot of pressure because you, you know, you know you've got this opportunity that may never come again, and you just don't want to waste it. You don't want to mess it up, and that adds a lot of pressure. You know, there's a lot of heroes in that game, and it was a really tough game, and England formidable opponents. England going forward. They need to control it, though. The referee allowing to go. He said that was off the foot. Underwood there. Horan having to jump for it. And he's away. Horan down the wing. The cover's across. It's still dangerous, though, with Webb going back. And play there going right from deep in 122 with the ball, just sorting out the line-out signals. And Opehengawi gathering it in two-handed. The Australians trying to roll it off the side. England in trouble here. It's a try. And up with the ball, it looks as if it's Ewan McKenzie, the prop. The tight head prop for Australia. And the conversion straight through the middle by Michael Liner. Back to Liner, and he will kick it. Now, John Webb, is he aware how close we are to the end? Chucks it infield, but Halliday isolated. Gets past one. Gets past two. England must win the ball, though. And that's it! The final whistle blows. Australia said from day one they weren't coming here to run second, and they've taken the trophy. They gave it everything, as always, nobody could fault their determination. Nick Farr Jones, the Australian captain. The moment he has been working and waiting for. It was a great moment for Australian rugby and really catapulted it forward in a big way. And uh, we saw enormous growth in numbers and in playing numbers and popularity around Australia, which was terrific to watch.